So welcome to part three in making archive application data application with table views that work and edit. And basically in part two, we were making a bunch of different methods that saved it. And I found a problem with one of them. So just bear with me here. Right after this code, after NS integer, we want to put table view colon UI table view space star, close that, then table view. And that was just a little problem that would have crashed the application that I found was wrong. Okay, and I'm sorry about that. So after this last method, we want to put in something that's going to basically go into the plist of the application and save the data every time someone opens it. This is a very strong piece of the code. Without this, this would not work at all. So we want to make an NS string. And what we're going to name this is data file path, which we've already named. Sorry about that. Two open brackets. And then in there, we want to put NS string. And we're going to name this data file path, the same one, semicolon. And then we want to make an NS array. And this is just going to be called paths. Space equals space. NS search. Um, no, NS, search, sorry, search path for directories in domain, and in domains. Right when you see this, just press enter, and in here, we want to change this to NS document directory. We want to change this, just click that, NS user um, directory. Oh, I'm sorry, NS user domain mask. And this we're just going to make yes. And put a semicolon after that. Enter NS string. I fail at making NS strings. I can never type them right. Something wrong. <laughs> Star document directory. And I did a big spelling error right there. Document directory, which we're going to name that, space equals space, paths, object, add index, zero. Okay? And semicolon, enter, data, file, path, space equals space, two open brackets, document directory, which is already declared, string by appending, and just delete all that by appending, and we want this to be path component, okay? And the string is just going to be at quote, application data dot plist, close, close quote, close bracket, semicolon. All right, now that is going to edit the plist and make it, this is basically the whole memory. And we don't want a semicolon, we want a space retain, then close that, and then put another semicolon. And then enter, return, data file path with a semicolon. So now if we command B, everything is going to work. If I build and go, it's going to be perfectly fine. The app won't crash, and we're good, guys. Everything's going to work, and it's perfect. So now what we're going to be doing is basically editing the, um, making it so the edit button works, which is a lot of code, but nothing too major. So, in the, where are you, appdelegate.m, I'm just gonna basically put this as a method. So this is just gonna be a void right here at the end. And what we want to make this is all. Oh, we're not going to be doing that yet. We want to make a void. And save data. That's what we're going to name this. In here, we want to make it NS Heed Archiver. Archive root object. The ID is going to just be 
data copy and then to file which is just going to be the self so self data file path now we're good to go and close that twice and so basically we just needed to plug that method in and we could build that now and it still works